Having liberated the hourglass and become keeper of time, my next task was to restart history. Not beholden to past events, I was free to craft a new era. It was with humility and restraint that I approached this blank canvas. After careful preparation, I began work, painting over the darkness. After eons passed, I sketched out the realms. After eons more, I brushed them in with life. In my new era, all beings will have the opportunity to find peace. Whether or not they do, will be their responsibility. For my power only permits me to begin this endeavor. It is the duty of mortals to finish it. What's up, it's Andy here, and welcome back to Royal Combat 1, people, hold on to those asses. It's time, people, it's time for that new timeline disrespect. This is gonna be part one of the Royal Combat 1 story mode, we're gonna play the first four chapters. We're not wasting any time, people, if you're new here. Well, then, welcome! Welcome to this empire in your existence. It's all about wasting meteor and awesome columns of disrespect, but it's a story mode, right? It's different. But anyways, people, enough wasting time, let's get into this, this video's gonna be long enough. Your patience is about to be rewarded, for I have saved the best for last. I have recently discovered a cure-all of unrivaled potency. It will soon be on the shelves in every home of Outworld. This elixir is crafted from an ancient recipe. It has Patreon flowers, Margovian nectar, Powder teeth of an Arctican dragon. The mob. All this and more, infused with powerful Lycorian magic. There is a village in the next canton over, where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Now magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford to be without it? You lie, Shang Tsung. Your cures are useless. I am but a man of truth. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, you are. Someone fool enough to have believed you! My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later... She was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage, and you know what she said? It's nothing! Just Borjang tea! The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are of superior quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. Oh, Shang Tsung, you're about to get your shit rocked. No matter what timeline he's in. No matter what timeline he's in, Shang Tsung's always deception. I mean, she got the extra days, didn't she? Like, he, he should have said that. Looking rough, Shang Tsung. We've seen better days. It was a facade! It is an excellent ruse, your disguise. Backwater folk are far more likely to trust a kindly old man. You're on behalf of a dissatisfied customer. If it's revenge you want, have at it. 
If it's restitution, there's nothing left. What I want, Shang Tsung, is to elevate you, to make you the great sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. Didn't she die? A generous Not offer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. Who else could eke out a living traveling Outworld's hinterlands, selling quack cures and fake magic? <laughs> Who else would be this low? It is barely survival. And you were meant for more. To live among kings, not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet. Shang Tsung, no matter what timeline he's in, he's always, always a bitch! Just control all, delete him, and get rid of him! Uh, this is a good harvest, Kung Lao. Yes. It is a blessing, Raiden. You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. But we've worked these fields since we were kids. In 40 years, we'll still be here. Stooped and feeble like old man Wei. <laughs> as long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures? <laughs> will be passed down for generations. It may not be glorious, but what we do helps the village thrive. I know. But is it so wrong to want some excitement? If that's what you want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Bo's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? Ha! <laughs> Since when? You're on, Raiden. We're ruined for Raiden. Raiden's the OG. That is amazing. I am starving. I wonder what Madame Bo is making tonight. For you two, whatever you want. Mortal Kombat X? Thank you, Madame Bo. You spoil us. Like the sons I never had. Have you two been practicing my lessons? As we can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial arts. Since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. If you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Good. You haven't forgotten. But we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. I'm glad you're paying. Madame Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Raiden won. The bet was filled. That's not what I remember. So that's how it is, eh? What do you say we settle this man to man? Hmm? Are they about to bust out a fight over that? <laughs> Wait, you mean fight? Yes. Right here, right now. Madame Bo can watch, critique our form. Is, is Madame Bo gonna be the cameo? <laughs> Best two out of three? Fair enough. Luke we Hank must be careful. Madame Bo will kick us out if we break something. <laughs> oh, this won't last long enough for that to happen. You will be down in no time. 
fight. All right, then what you got, my guy? In no way we lose this, okay? No way we lose this. Okay, I'm liking Kung Lao, people. I'm liking Kung Lao. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> slumber. We both know how this ends, Raiden. Shit, I wanted to get that. Not that we have no meter. Okay, I want to practice. I want to practice for Kung Lao, people. I'm already liking his combos. Raiden, 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 I'm clearly meant to win, I'm, even though I'm not the chosen one. You haven't beaten me yet. The day's coming, Kung Lao. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. You were hungry. <clears throat> oh, everything was delicious, Madame Bo. Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. <laughs> How much is she paying? Ah, uh, Benjamin. Madame Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. The Ops have pulled up. I have been busy, Smoke. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know, but I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madam Bo, it is a simple choice. Pay for our protection, or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madam Bo, is unfortunate. The dream team pulling up. Oh! oh! You two are brave, but against us, you are in over your head. We don't care who you are or who you are with. You will not menace Madame Bo. Fight! All right, he kind of already slumbered, Madame Bo, so that's already over. Okay. Anyway, what's up, my man? What's up? Okay. This, the the guy keeps flawless blocking everything. Smoke? Smoke? Oh! Oh, I hate that teleport. I, I can't- I, oh my god. Already PTSD for my teleport from the first time I burst. God damn it! No! Grab him! Oh! I didn't even realize I had a cameo. Call him in! Love it! No, don't love it! He didn't- we- It's working out. Now who's in over his head? Ooh! This was Why'd you? you? <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised too. Come on, let's help Madame Bo. Interfere with Lin Kuei business. Leave or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. Okay, Scorpion. Or Sub Zero. That was a bit unnecessary. <laughs> Want more? I have plenty. You should have fled when you could. Prepare to regret ever crossing the Lin Kuei. Fight! Did anybody else think of that? I'm a better father than you, Rick. All right, let's do this, me. Let's discuss what you got, Scorpion. What? Isn't isn't Sub Zero over? With, okay. Never mind. Logic. It's what. How about not, Scorpion? You're my man. Okay. How dare you betray? Okay. Can we land it properly this time? 
or not. I'm trying to end it with. Um. No. Okay, we're gonna give you a bald spot in a moment. Okay, Hunt, not Hunt, no. No, you see, I follow this block. I was prepared. Okay, sub zero. All right. It is you who will regret crossing me. Run, Raven! Oh. Oh. New moveset? <sighs> what was that? <laughs> Incompetent. <laughs> oh, that works. And thus Kung Lao was born. Enough of you. Then go before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grand Master. Fight! Let's go, Grand Master! i put you down like a dog you are, sir! No! Okay, Raiden, Raiden. One, two, three, call him in. All right, that's not what we wanted. All right, one, two, three, call him in. Boom, bam, bop, boom, miss. God damn it, grab him! Give him a nugget! Give him a box spot! Just end this! Are you sure you're a grandmaster? Interesting. Kung Lao, over here! The hat idea was born. Oh, Granny's Granny's dead. Life alert. Madame Bo. She's out cold. Oh no. Is she dead? Oh. Not yet. I really thought they were gonna kill her off. Madame Bo, how are you? Kung Lao. So, Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps, but they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire and protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was a test. Of your ability and character, yes. Bi Han, Kui Liang. Bitches were acting! Man was pretending to be slumbered! So these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm, don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our Chow victory Khan. in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, you would not have survived. Relax! The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. 
And you, Raiden? I feel so bad for Kung Lao. He's gonna Lee be second Sanjian? place, man. I'm needed here. Earth Realm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. The main man! We're off the map. We should go back, recheck the route. It's this way. What is going on? The temple. All right, Indiana Jones. came from here. Can you open it? Without killing us? <laughs> Let's hope so. Aw, Who is this guy who's with us, by the way? Steve! Turn them off. Why? And we're definitely getting warmer. How are these still burning? Oil bubbles up from the ground. The chamber channels it somehow. Up to your explanation. down Steve so there's metal in the floor that's not just any metal it's liquid mercury shit that stuff's toxic fatal only step where I step Steve's dying Steve is dying I'm telling you right now Steve is dying he's not gonna follow Johnny to oh my shoulder is gonna fall over What did I say? Steve's not making it. Steve's not making it. Oh, Steve made it. I really thought. I'm not joking. I'm sorry. Not now. Disgrace. Get out the explosives. Our bridge? Do this right, it'll fall across. The Kalima? They're real? No, Mom. Keep working. I'll take care of the she beasts. Isn't this the person that Megan Fox voice lines or something? You disturb Contra Valor's slumber. 
Oh, you'll sin, you die! Fight! Alright, let's go! What you got? Oh god, okay, wrong button. Now it's the right button. Let's go! One, two, three! One, two, goodbye! Okay. Relax! Okay, that's the money maker. Goodbye, future children. No! Relax! Oh, we have a stun double! Useless! Steve, I know it's- you never rely on Steve, man. Ma'am, ma'am. Did somebody tell you you could have a snack of this majesticness? I'll give you one more chance, Steve. Where are you? Never mind, never mind. Never trust Steve. Oh my god. Stop biting me. No! Oh, Steve, you redeemed yourself. Got no time to die, crazy lady. You okay? Yes, we ready? Bridge successful. Physics for the win. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, sneer. I guarantee you, he, 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 he got you. Oh my god, he's gonna stab Steve. belongs in a museum. I told you Steve's falling in that mercury! Use the shield! You have a weapon! Slumber. Not have it. You don't need it. You're dead. Speaking of which, you just killed my best friend, and I'm not one to forgive and forget. Fight. You, your best friend, and we're this chill. All right, that's fine. Is this supposed to be happening or some shit? Okay. Goodbye, future generation. No, no, we don't. We don't have a camera anymore. Steve's dead. Okay, okay, okay. We have to get redemption. Oh, oh, no, no. What was that? This man used his head through his own head. All right, just die. Now where's that shield? I am not yet defeated. Yes, you are. All right, Captain America. Time to go home. Cut! Print it! I knew it! Whew. I felt that one. You felt it too, right? Temple of Kataravala, take 39, tail slate. That's a wrap. Of course, of course it was the movie set. Steven, this was fantastic. Why Thank couldn't you. we see the green? Uh, 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 oh. Just like the old days. And these props. Jimbo killed it. <laughs> you did too, Johnny. Hey, uh, about my pitch. You know, the karate zombie thing? I'm thinking four films. Maybe a streaming series? Johnny, I don't have- You're right. Not here. I'll swing by your office after I change. Mm, I can't. Uh, have to be with the editors. Marsha will call you. They're blowing us off. Great! Have your assistant call me. Well, that was great, hon. Wasn't it, though? We need to celebrate. I'm thinking private party. But, Johnny, we need to talk. You're not the martial arts megastar you once were, honey. You're lucky Steven owed you a favor. I'm telling you, Chris. We're fine. Can you join me in the fact-based universe just once? We're broke. We have to cut back. Cut back? On what? Step one is selling this place. Mm. I need a refill. Johnny, we can't keep this up. You spent 10000 on that sculpture, 30000 on that drone, and this damn sword. 
three million dollars? Hey, Cento is history. That sword comes from- Ugh, That's not the point, Johnny! Chris, honey, the parts, the money, they're coming. Steven's movie is just the beginning. That's why I can't cut back. To be a success, I have to project it. If I don't, Johnny Cage is done. I didn't marry Johnny Cage. I married John Carlton. I'd give anything to have him back. Is that his name? Chris. Come on, Chris, where are you going? Fuck! How you like that, Mr. A-list? Thank God. Ah, oh, Chris, honey, I... Is this supposed to be Kenshi? Where's my wife? What did you... Your wife left. She's fine. You will be too, if you cooperate. What do you want? Sento. You some kind of hired gun? Or do you know Sento's history? I know it. It's my family blade. No. No way you're Tyra clan. They've been dead for centuries. Not dead. Hiding. With Sento in my hands, I'll lead us out of the shadows. That's a great plan, stranger. Except for one thing, Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. Fight. Kenshi, I'm gonna be the one to make you blind, okay? Let's go. This is the new timeline. Goodbye, future generation. Not gonna happen. Offer cut off the ass. No. Grab him. We have no cameo if only Chris was here. I swear. Are we gonna be able to see how Kenshi got blind? You tried robbing the wrong house. I am the ultimate home security. I am the cavalry. I am the cavalry, Kenshi. All right, you better learn. Ken okay, can you just die? You have a weapon. That's not fair. I mean, I have a weapon as well. Thunder and lightning over here. And you're dead. Okay. Okay. And you're dead. My house, my rules. So, you have a name or what? Kenshi Takahashi. <laughs> I knew you weren't Tyra Clan. You know nothing, Cage. 400 years ago, the Tyra Clan were one of Japan's first families. They lost Sento after getting slaughtered at the siege of Aomori. There were survivors. They hid themselves by shedding the name Tyra for Takahashi. They joined the Bakuto for its protection. The Yakuza's predecessors. From first family to crime family. I will break us free of the Yakuza's corruption. Reclaim our name and our position. But my clan won't follow me unless I prove that I can lead. That's why I need Sento. And that's Malibu's finest. It's a great story. Bullshit. <laughs> but great. You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny Cage. <laughs> I am Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh, you sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. Chris, you vixen. <laughs> Nicely done. Sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. Kenshi Takahashi. A tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Shame! Who are these people? You tell me. They're your scene partners. 
I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but as pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Bihan, Kualiang, if you please. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts LARP. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Hey, you. Uh, wait, wait. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> Was that necessary, dollars. brother? To put him in his place. That was a hit truly. One of a kind. Alright, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. Fight. You're about to be beat by Hollywood's finest, Grandmaster. Alright? Let's go. That was a ten thousand dollar sculpture, okay? You have that kind of money? I think not. No, no. Not so okay, okay, okay. Ma the Grandmaster needs assistance, I see. No, just die! And scene. I hope you're insured, because you're paying for my Hachuli. Imbecile! You have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough! Ah, uh, That's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. <laughs> Kuai Liang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Lu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. God of fire. Well, that last one tracks. But what's an Earthrealm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives. That's Sinai. I think we've entered a new chapter. That is not a good idea. It is genius, Raiden. The next time we see Sub-Zero, I will have to thank him for inspiring it. Ow! See? It won't be effective. Maybe it's too effective. Kunga has been born, people! We just need to get on with it. We've been cooped up here for months. I can't base a cinematic universe on Outworld's monsters and magic if I don't ever see them. That's why you're here? Liu Kang said this gig would change the arc of my life. That's how it gets done. My ex will rue the day she gave up on me. <sighs> so selfless. Oh, please, Tattoo. You're just here to get your sword back. We all have our reasons for being here. Some better than others. But we are not here to fight among ourselves. We are here to fight for Earthrealm. It's about damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't Outworld fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage. And it is Outworld's turn as host. You know, I don't know why I've never asked this, but, uh, 
What's our record at this tournament? Earthrealm and Outworld have long been evenly matched. But Outworld is gaining strength. Should it win, its more militant factions will be emboldened. I thought you admired Outworld. It is a place of great knowledge, wealth, and beauty. But our realms do not share goals and beliefs. We coexist peacefully, because Outworld respects our strength. Should we show weakness, our rival will become our enemy. I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. First, you must win the right to represent us. Whichever one of you outlasts the others will be chosen. Let it be Kung Lao. Raiden, step forward. <laughs> Good call. Call the weak first. You shall face him, Johnny Cage. This bitch. Ready for your close up? All right, let's do this. But remember, farm boy, I'm a global martial arts icon. I don't think you can handle this much boom. I am ready, Johnny Cage. My mind and spirit fight as one. Fight! All right, let's go, Johnny Cage. What you got, my guy? What you got, my... Okay, I don't know moves. Oh, okay, so that's a special move. That, that This little karate kick. No! How dare you? Only when I'm playing you can you do that, okay? God damn it. One, two, one, two, three. Why is it doing what I want? One, two... Oh my god. I give up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> this fight was an honor. You're welcome. Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. Beef. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Fight! Well, you lost to Johnny and we beat Johnny, so process of elimination, we're gonna win, right? Oh my god, you're not allowed to use a weapon, that's not fair. No, 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 how about not? Where are you going? Give me the memo. God damn it, I wanna do cool stuff, but I don't know moves. Do you still question my nerve? I do not. <laughs> Yours was a well-earned victory. <laughs> that was so unsmooth. You may rest, Raiden. This evening, you will face your final opponent. Let him win. He's never the main character. Fifty bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. <laughs> Not on your life. Raiden, Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earthrealm against Outworld. It is a grave duty, not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person <laughs> win. All right, Kung Lao. <laughs> Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change. Fight! And disrespect! Let's go! Oh, wrong move, I thought. Never mind. Kung Lao, could you not? Okay, this man's using a weapon and he just he showed us. Okay. Karate swap time to look at this. Do it again! Oh my god. You're lucky we have a hat on. Do the Oh my god. Do the karate chops. This bitch. Give me it! Yes! Oh. 
shit! No! God damn it! I wanted to use all three meters. No! 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 Offer caught him. Where do you think you're going? There is a first time for everything, Kung Lao. Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. How could I have... Congratulations, Raiden. I feel so bad. For the tenement, you will need this. Lightning powers! Forged by the Elder Gods, it gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead, try it. Holy Ark of the Covenant. It is incredible. But is it necessary? In addition to possessing great might, the Outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. Until now. I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. Lying bastard Luke Hang, as if, as if, I would never put you in harm's way. Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. Do not become drawn in. I love you the graphics. You must focus on the task at hand. Sindel's daughters. Yes. <laughs> Did you see Johnny? They do not disappoint. We are Earthrealm's ambassadors, Johnny. We'll show them respect, not unwanted attention. Lord Liu Kang, welcome. Thank you, Princess Melina. You remember my sister? Of course, Princess Kitana. May I introduce Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi Takahashi, and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Where is Empress the... Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please. The main man, Goro! Oh, never mind, never mind, it's not Goro. That is, that, that's racist towards their clan. Six-armed beings are not Nodens. The monks described them, but seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. 
Why are you coming at us? As did all of Outworld. I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. <laughs> Constable, our route was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, Your Highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. There's beef. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. So it's her fault. That's the that's the logic. Worry expends energy for no purpose, Raiden. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Oh, here comes the problem. Red alert. Incoming stock villain. General Shah. Do not let him go to you. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earthrealm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will... Will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earthrealmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. We'll see. We'll see. Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy, to continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory, as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. 
Beef. Beef. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? With lightning Hopefully, powers! Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Fight! Li Mei? Okay. Ma'am, back up ten feet. Oh my god, we have lightning powers now. The combos are different. Okay, that's not what we want. Oh my god. Can you give me a- can you give me a moment? Alright, take that. One, two, one, two, grab him. Dive into her. Love and Raven's combos. Oh wait, I still have this move. Oh wait, I can do this. Oh, I can't do that. Can't do that. We still got him. One, two, one, two, three. We're not done. We're not done. I love Raiden's moves, man. Oh, that was a perfectly timed landing for that. Okay. Oh, I don't have any meat. Oh, wait, I have a cameo. What is that? Uh, bam, bam. Do this. That's not what we want. Why are you... Oh, my God. Why are you missing? Can you just die? Thank you for the match, First Constable. Feels bad, man. Li Mei, we, we should have let her win. There should be, it, it should be possible. My compliments, Raiden, on a well-fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in, molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. <laughs> Origin story. <laughs> I'm intimidated. In whose army have you served? In what wars have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Fight! First of all, it's not a battlefield, okay? Take the lightning. One, two, one, two, grab him. We're not done. Now we're done. I love Raiden's moves, man. Seriously, I love Raiden's moves. You guys know, in Injustice even, I love Raiden any game. Sir, that's not good. That, not today, Reiko. Reiko. That's not what we want. Oh my God! Chopper cut him. Take the lightning. Felled by a simple farmer. I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. Oh, this looks nice. Shotgun is so disappointed. I'm sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. <laughs> the Rizzler. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raiden. Though he may not yet know it. Mortal Kombat do you recognize reference? everyone here? Most, yes. From your descriptions. Except for him. That is Rain. The High Mage of Outworld. Not his given name, but one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Are you unwell, Princess? Uh, 
I am fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. Though the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age, the memories of that strife still linger. My husband Jared believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all. That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission... You may go. Bro, Shokan is a child, man! It is bad enough we may lose to the Earthrealmers. But then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, your majesty? <sighs> Again with this? If you must. We must act on the sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises. Shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war! Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, general. Intimidation! Oh. You asked to see us? I saw what happened this evening. Uh, there was nothing. Was something I ate. Was it? I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Kitana will take your place. What? Uh, there are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams! Your illness is your fault. Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just need a time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... That's your problem, Melina. You never think. A mother is only trying to protect you, sister. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. To the For you to hold the throne, we must keep your secret. From the slums you came to the slums you shall return, Melina. You continue to surprise, Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Then next, you face my daughter, Katana. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. 
He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, your highness. I will win this fight. For her, my empress, and all of Outworld. Fight! Let's go, Katana! Let's see! Let's see you win for all of, all of Outworld or whatever the fuck. I don't care! Alright! I love this combo, man! I love the way that combo looks! Okay, we, we messed up. That doesn't matter. I'm not giving you a chance to breathe. No! God damn it, why do I keep missing that one? Alright, we no longer have that cart like that, that cart the cartwheel move anymore, people, when we didn't have power. We have it as like this move, but we don't have it as an amplified move. The flawless block. Oh my god, just die. You fight well, princess. As do you, Earthrealmer. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again. Under different circumstances. It's time for the final match. It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Victor of the Tavarian War, conqueror of the Quatan Plains, defender of the Navala Coast. What is this list? As has his family for generations, General Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere fraction of them. A full recitation would take days. Fight. Days! Okay, buddy! Okay, buddy! That's not- Get the fuck out of here, Shao Kahn! In any game, he's always like this. Okay, who hurt you, Shao Kahn? I wanna know Shao Kahn's timeline. Didn't Liu Kang structure the, the shit? Why is he always like this? I mean, but then again, imagine Shao Kahn if he was nice. I haven't used the cameo that much, people. I know, I know. Okay, hold on. One, two, give me the cameo. Alright. Boom! No! The money maker! Okay, it's fine. That's fine. No worries. Tis an inconvenience. Tis an inconvenience. No, no, no. It's over. I have done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earth Realm wins. We did it! We won! What's up? May I assist you? Stay away, Earthrealmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the Outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come, let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. Alright people, I think I think we're gonna call it there. Raven, we won! High fives all around! Oh, hold on, hold on. Giris? Giris, my old friend. It's been eons. It's good to see you. Eons. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the Hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. 
While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Garrus? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. Thanks, son. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Alright everybody, and that does it for this first episode of that Mortal Kombat 1 disrespectful timeline. Intensity was had, bitches were fucked, Kung Lao was betrayed. He, for once, let him be number one, man. I hope you guys enjoyed, that was the first three chapters, I know I said I'm gonna do four. But this video is gonna be long enough and I have to go record some Reptile, alright? Come back tomorrow, or whenever I'm gonna post it, but for now. Thank you guys for watching, if you'd like to leave a like, show away some love for that Rizzler disrespect. But it is about that time, like kings and queens, so, until next time, I'll catch you all in the next one.